So what is the internet? I think this is a very good summary of what it is. Because it just sucks. You know, many people think that the internet is just, you know, like a bunch of wires and... But, I mean, you know, you got, you got red lines. Oh, crap, let me get my laser pointer for this. You got green lines. You got these little blue bubbles with numbers and stuff. And you got all these lines going everywhere. Next one. Do you like that transition, too? It went down. Then here's another one. You know, you've got, you've got the place where we live here. And there's orange lines going out of its butt over there. And you got more stuff here. You got little maps down there. That's the internet, too. You can go next. This is the internet, you know. George Bush, Hitler, <laughs> Skull and Bones, Pride and Stupidity, Japan, Bushido, Fat Boy, The Void. You know, this is all kind of stuff here. This is the internet. Got your... This one's a, a little bit easier to understand than the Thailand one. Okay, then next one. But this also is the internet. If any of you do tech support for your parents, which I'm assuming a large portion of you, you you're probably more familiar with this one. <laughs> But this, this is the real internet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna next one. I get another one. You know, the, the internet, it's, it's just kind of like a weird sociological experiment because, you know, you've got people who were previously sitting in their basement reading fantasy novels all day and all night and then some. And, you know, they, they've got some weird kind of fetish or they think that, you know, the people who make traffic signals are out to kill them or wind is made by tigers or something like that. <laughs> and they just sit there by themselves because they think they're the only ones who think that, you know, and obviously they can't go out in public and start screaming at the wristwatch because, you know, they get arrested or something. But what the internet does is it actually gets these people together. You know, before the internet, these people were just by themselves. Then they get on the internet, they do a search, and they find people that are exactly like them. And then soon, you know, just one person goes into two. Two becomes four, four becomes 16, 16. I can't go past 16, I'm sorry. I failed out of college. And so it just keeps on going on and on like that. And once a group kind of hits, a certain number, then these people think that they're in the majority. And they start beginning to think that, oh, well, if you think that I'm wrong, you know, I've got all these people here telling me that if you look at the color white, you get cancer. So obviously we're right. And obviously you're a bigot. <laughs> and I get that all the time because you can't poke fun at anybody without being called, you know, racially insensitive, even though, you know, people who think that, you know, hats are trying to kill them, that's not a race. Another one. So like, here's an example. Say you've got some guy, pre-internet, you know, before any of this. He really likes parrots, okay? I mean, like, more than any of us, he loves parrots. But he doesn't like them in a good way. He likes to take parrots and dip them in caramel and shove them up his ass. And, you know, he's kind of by himself. He thinks he's all alone. He's just, you know, sitting around doing his thing. Then he gets the internet. Then he starts doing searches and he finds, you know, well, other people like shoving parrots up their ass too. This is great, there are other people like me. And soon, you know, they start talking, they find more people and then it grows and it grows larger and larger and larger. And soon they have a website, soon they have the parrot ass, you know, fan club. Soon they have parrot ass mailing lists. And it just keeps going on and on like this because 
you know, having these little grooves that kind of validates whatever they're thinking. And it can be, you know, pretty much anything. And that's one of the benefits and drawbacks of the Internet is that no matter what you think, no matter who you are, you can find a group that agrees with whatever you think.